All right, let's get some work done. Welcome back to Yellow Card Vanguard. Toku here. And I was a bit interrupted when I was looking for some illustrations of Minerva. So instead, what I'll do is combo video on Regalia. Because Regalia has got this uh, nice buff, a lot of people have started to pick them up. So I wanted to provide an episode of Yellow Card Combos dedicated to Regalias, which is one of the decks that I used to play, and basically show you what I've been doing with the deck lately. So this video will feature two combos, one using the new Minerva, and the other using Earth. One of the older strides back then which attempted to give Regalia a boost but wasn't very successful at it. But now, with the tools that Regalia has, it might be better. Regalia is a bit simpler now. The deck is basically streamlined to stride Minerva twice. If you don't win, you probably go next. Earth is there as a backup just in case that like, if you're on low damage and then you think you can survive another turn, you can actually fix your deck to turn into more triggers uh, with the use of Jimmy Dragon as well. So I'll also show you how to do that. Those are the two combos I'll be showing you. In the combos, I'll be showcasing certain card choices, why I decided to use these cards now, and why I decided to d exclude other common choices. So to begin, we're gonna do the, the typical Minerva GB3 turn. To do that, there's a few cards I wanna showcase. That's Freya and Braggy. These two cards can hit 15k by themselves. Freya can hit 15k because of her effect that gets her 3k each time the Vanguard attacks and Minerva swings twice. And Braga gets 3k for every Regalia name she puts into her soul from her own ability. Two in, so that's plus six, 15k. The other card I want to showcase is Expel Angel. Expel Angel, the Tuck, three and draw one, very strong. Draw one is not as important when you're going for a final turn. The 3k is, because this 3k alongside with uh, Freya and Braggy helps hit numbers that are important. And so we'll have these column, which makes 15. And so you'll have 15 and 10, and you'll be like 25. That's not very good. How does that make that a better number? And so that's why the last card I decided to run is actually not Hemera, but actually Heno. Heno's effect is when she goes from the soul to the drop zone, she gives a unit 3k. So what you can do is when you soul blast 2, you can give 6k to this call, making it 31, which is a lot more threatening than just 25, which is basically the same as 21. You've pushed this power column from 21 to 31 by the use of two handles. And without further dilly-dallying, let's get on with the combo. So we just drew, and because we're good players, we top deck our stride fodder. It just happens to be a card I wanted to showcase, being Izun. So we use Izun to stride, put her skill on standby, and go into Minerva. Using Angelica skill, we'll counter blast one. We've got one, two, three, four. As a matter of a grab, we'll grab Angelica so we can ultimate stride, put one into soul, put the rest into drop. And then we use Ezen skill, go into soul, and give our Vanguard 10k. So our total power here is 36 right now. Then we'll make our columns. We'll call down our two X spells here. We'll call Freya, use her skill. Counter blast one, draw a card, and we'll put the two handles in. Next, we'll call Reggie and put two more handles in. Reggie will get come a total of 15. This column becomes a total of 22 now. This column's total is 16. We'll use Minerva's Persona Flip skill, Soul Blast 3 Regalia name, flip herself over to get 10k and a drive. Then, we use both of our X spells. That's Tuck 1, 2, 3 for the first. Put that to the bottom of her deck. Draw one. This column gets three. We use this X spell. We'll tuck one, two, three. And draw one. 
and this column becomes 25 now. Now we've got all this set up, we can go to attack step. We'll swing here, which is 19, Just throw that onto our handy dandy calculator, and we'll swing here, which is 25. Then we'll swing Vanguard using her GB3 skill. We're gonna soul bus one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're also gonna ditch our Jotun. So this is a line of play you can do when you have a Jotun in hand and a Jotun in soul. After you've completed the entire cost of Minerva's effect, which is to soul blast sixth and to ditch one, these Jotuns will now see each other in the drop zone and recognize that it's been soul blasted. So the one that's been soul blasted, arbitrarily this one, can find a Jotun and spin itself back to hand, which means you actually didn't ditch one for Minerva's cost. Then we have our four Hindles that we soul blasted. So we can actually give one, two, three, four, five, six here. And one, two, three, four, five, six here. And from Freya's skill, when Minerva swings, she gets herself 3k as well. So Minerva swinging adds us to 46 power. Quad drive, one, two, three, four. Nice triggers. After the battle, stand all of our regalia units. Because we want Freya to get an extra 3k, we actually swing Minerva first this time again. This will get bumped it up another swing. And then we'll swing 31 and 31 to finish off our turn. Total of this turn being 198k. So from this combo, I showcased why I use Heno over Hemera. It's so I can fix these numbers to go from 21 columns to 31 columns instead. And I also showed you how to use Jotun from your hand as like a way to cheat Minerva's restand cost. And for the second combo, I'll be showing off the use case of Earth. Uh, what you can use Earth for is uh, you can composite your next deck to be more trigger and more dangerous towards your opponent at the same time as putting pressure on your opponent with multiple 10Ks and multiple crits. True use of this combo is actually to showcase Dreaming Dragon. Everyone knows this card, it's a way that Genesis used to like not deck out. When does OTT get this? When does Angel Feather get this? Fuck if I know. Come on, Bushy. And so basically the goal of this combo is actually to turn your deck into mostly triggers. In which case, your next turn that you strike your Minerva that you haven't used potentially, you can just go quad crit, I love anime. Start off the combo, we're gonna pay cost for stride. Once again, using Ezen, putting her skill on standby, going to Earth. We use Stride Skill. Two, one, two, three, four. We're gonna take the Braggy, dump whatever we want. This goes into Soul, gives 10k. That's arbitrary considering how big Earth is gonna get. And then we're gonna use Earth Skill. Counter Blast, Persona Flip. Suck up all the regal units in our drop zone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21 into the soul. This is when we're going to start altering the composition of our deck. I'm going to call these preemptively. I'm actually calling this up here. I'm going to use a skill, so we're going to soul blast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. She gets 10k and a crit. Let's keep track of it with this die. Go one stack of 10k in crit. Then I'm actually gonna call over the trigger with Braggy. I'm gonna put two cards back in. I'm gonna use my crits to give Braggy power. And then I'm gonna soul blast six again. Four. Five, six. Gonna do it again. So back to the triggers. That way, triggers going back in the deck. Nothing else. Four, five. Then call our other braggy. We'll put those two cards that weren't triggered back into our soul. And then we can see that basically our drop zone is now almost nearly all the triggers in our deck. Slap down the Dreaming Dragon for good measure, and then we'll swing for 66k and 3 crit. Yeah, not too bad. 1, 2, 3. Then we'll swing and swing. Use Dreaming Dragon. 
everything back to deck and draw one. Let's take a look at how our deck looks now. Fifteen triggers in a deck of nineteen. That's going to be really scary on the following Minerva turn. That was it for my Regalia combo video. Instead of showing off like other combos or maximum reach, I kind of showed off more about the interaction side of cards and card choices. As usual, the deck list will be shown at the end of the video. Questions, comments, send them down to the comments below. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button down below. This has been Toku from Yellow Card Vanguard. Toku out.